So we are asked to write 4 fifteenths as a recurring decimal using dot notation. Well the first thing we need to think about is the fact that 4 fifteenths really just means 4 divided by 15. All of our fractions are really just divides. So we can work out this 4 divided by 15 using the bus stop method. We put the 15 on the outside, the 4 on the inside, and then because we're going to get a decimal answer, we can put in some placeholder zeros, getting ready for that into our decimal places. So first we need to think about how many 15s go into 4. Well, that's going to be 0. And we carry all of this 4 over into our next column. Now we're thinking how many 15s go into 40. Well, let's think 15, 30, 45 where we've gone over. So only 2 of our 15s fit into that 40. And because 2 times 15 gives us 30, We've got 10 left over at that 40, so we carry across a 10. Now we're asking how many 15s go into 100. Well, let's count up again. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105. Well, we've gone too high. So the last one before that was 90. How many 15s go into 90? That's 6. And that 15 times 6 gave us 90, so there are 10 left over. And look again, we've now got to find how many 15s go into 100 again. Well, we've just done that. It was 6 with 10 left over. And now we've got 100 again. It's going to be 6 with 10 left over. And this pattern is going to continue on forever. So this 6 is just going to keep going. So to write out this 0 0.26666 and so on, we write it as 0 0.26. We have a dot over the 6. So that dot over the 6, our recurring dot, tells us that that 6 is going to go on forever. And that is our answer.